Hello, everybody, and welcome to Lunch with the Cardinals for Monday, January 23rd, 2012, as we start another week in Jewel Athletics. Busy weekend, basketball, swimming, track and field, and the Challenger Baseball Camp, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. First, let's review the road trip to St. Louis, where the Cardinal women and men faced UMSL on Thursday night and played Maryville on Saturday afternoon. A one and three road trip, unfortunately, for the Cardinals. The women won at UMSL Thursday night, but the men were beaten on a last second shot to split the two games there. And then on Saturday afternoon, the women again in a very close game lost 64 to 60 to Maryville. And the men, despite playing very well for three quarters of the game, the last 10 minutes got away from them a little bit and they were defeated by 15 by Maryville on Saturday. The women started Saturday tied for first place in the Western Division of the Great Lakes Valley Conference, but with the loss and uh, another loss in the conference, now they are tied in a three-way tie, actually, for second place with the Western Division leading Drury Panthers coming up on Thursday night. A huge game down in Springfield for Jill Cress and the women Thursday night to be followed by the men's game later on. Swimming had a tough Friday at uh, Missouri State. They took on one of the best Division I swim teams in the nation, and they were swept in all events. Didn't get a first place. However, they had some people uh, set some personal bests for the year. Kelly Moore set her personal best in the women's 200 freestyle. Maggie Metz and Matt Luton both set their personal best in the 200 intermediate races, and we'll have more on Friday swimming later on in this week. Finally today, we want to review yesterday's Challenger Camp, a baseball camp put on by Mike Stockton with the YMCA. Here's Mike to tell you a little bit about it. Today we have about 50 kids and they will, you know, get lessons on um, how to throw or how to warm up, how to throw, pitching, hitting, fielding, uh, infield play, outfield play, base running, just hitting the basics of everything. Um, Jerry Lafferty at the time with the Royals and then, and then back again, you know, with, with the Phillies and back and forth, along with Coach Mike, um, decided that they wanted to help the Challenger program. And that's what I do. I'm the Adaptive Program Director. So we do sports and activities for kids with special needs. And when they heard about it, they're like, what can we do? How can we help? Basically, my most favorite is the diving and the hitting. Like I said, we have a lot of kids that are returners, fourth, third year guys, because they'll learn from this experience, what it's like to play in college. Even look up to those that are first year that played in high school and they might have that name that they know, oh, I went to Olathe or I went to Blue Springs. Because we've got kids coming all over the metro. So that makes it more of a hometown clinic. And then they can also cheer these guys on as they hear about them when their season comes. I think it's just a great thing to come out and do. And this this camp in particular is for a good cause, so it's great to it's great to be a part of something like that. And then just helping things out, it's a lot it's a lot more fun than some people. Have. So far, we've been doing hitting and just part of this, but I think I've been liking hitting a bit. Lunch with the Cardinals is brought to you by Hillcrest Thrift Store in Liberty. Go on down to Mill Street. They're our sponsor, and they're the ones that will have some great stuff for you at Hillcrest Thrift Store on Mill Street in Liberty. We'll have more on Jewel Athletics tomorrow on Lunch with the Cardinals.